All right, everybody, good morning. Thank you for joining me today, uh, Friday, whatever the day is, the 12th. Uh, if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I'll try to be as loud as possible and, and demonstrate as much as possible. Uh, entertained, doing a timed workout, but I, all my devices are in use right now, trying to have a little fun with this stuff. Um, so, anyhow, if anything ever happens, go click on one of those live links. Julie, I can try to resend it to you and I can be reset, but it looks pretty good. Let's get warm and loose. Go back to our old school warm ups. Your 10 regular squats, right? Your hips, 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 hips. Your glutes, 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 right? Turn those muscles on. Eyes, 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 and thighs, thighs, thighs. 10 regular squats. I know it's gonna be hard to the view behind me, but you gotta focus as much as possible. 10 regular squats. I wanna be a little bit ahead of you. 10 stationary reverse lunges. Stay loaded on that front non-moving leg and that front non-moving leg is pulling you back up we do need to get our bodies warm today we've had some slower feeling workouts so today we're gonna turn that dial up a little bit 10 on your station reverse lunges and then you have your 10 standing scissors right let's elongate those posterior muscles your hamstrings your glutes your back muscles using your arms and legs, moving those shoulders and hips. 10 standing scissors. You'll shake it off. We'll have our 10 wide squats. Pardon the short shorts. I had to bust those out today. 10 wide squats, hips, glutes, eyes, thighs, posture, breathe. On your 10 wide squats, hips, glutes, eyes thighs you have your standing runners right your mobility on those standing runners elbows to knees not knees to nose 10 standing runners breathe and focus good morning after those standing runners we and i missed my one we have our 10 all pardon the tractor they flatten the beach out <laughs> you have your 10 alternating balancing, lengthening, stiff-legged deadlifts. Remember, they are not called straight-legged deadlifts. Knee is ever so slightly bent. You're not bending and straightening that leg. 10 alternating stiff-legged deadlifts. That was my error on the middle part there. When you get done to those, you have your 10 narrow squats. We've done this so many times. Remember, the regular squat is just a reference point. So you can have a wide and the narrow squats. If you maintain your motion or increase your motion compared to your regular squat, you have the flexibility squat on the wide squat and the mobility squat on the narrow squat. When you get done, you have your stationary forward lunges. Step, load, push yourself back on those stationary forward lunges. Breathe and focus on those stationary forward lunges again trying to be a little bit ahead of you i don't want you to do your movements any faster you've got your 10 jack lanes you gotta get big 10 jack lanes it is your dynamic stretching exercise <sighs> breathe remember dynamic in my world is multi-joint motion multi-muscle activation 10 dynamic Lots of things are moving, lots of things are stretching on your jack of lanes. We're gonna do that loop one more time because I need you really warm. We're gonna be hopping and puffing today. When you get done with your jack of lanes, you got your 10 regular squats. Let's go through them one more time. 10 regular squats. You'll have your 10 stationary reverse lunges and your 10 standing scissors. I don't mind a little bit of a tempo increase, a little bit. I don't mind that pace turning up a little bit. Let's get your bodies nice and warm. 10 regular squats, 10 stationary reverse lunges, and your 10 standing scissors. Let's get this party started. Please, again, 10 regular squats, 10 stationary reverse lunge, 10 standing scissors. The second time today. Breathe and focus. Remember that body temperature should start increasing and that's that blood moving, 
muscles getting filled up, tissue getting warm, more than just the skin. 10, uh, 10 standing scissors, you got your 10 wide squats, your 10 alternating sip legged deadlifts, and your 10 standing runners. Let's get through this loop. We're gonna turn that dial up a little bit. I might get a little bit dirty today. 10 wide squats, 10 alternating, balancing, which is a little harder bare feet on the sand. I'm not gonna lie about that. <laughs> 10 wide squats, 10 alternating, balancing, lengthening, step like it does. I better focus, I'm gonna hurt myself. Then you got your 10 standing runners, which is the mobility exercise. Heart rates increasing, blood flow increasing, temperature increasing. You better get warm and loose. 10 narrow squats, 10 stationary forward lunges, and 10 standing jack lanes. And we are on to our workout. that motion, good focus, hips, a lot of motion, starts at your hips, come from your hips, is at your hips, whatever you want to think about, stationary forward lunges, you're loading that front leg and you're pushing yourself back, after those stationary forward lunges, one more set of Jack LaLanne's. As you guys finish that up, you might have more tools than I do, right? I have zero tools with me, all right? If you ever want to do cardio things instead of the plyometric, the hard things, uh, I would say plan on doing anything between 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, we're gonna be doing 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, so I would say a minute, a minute, and then like a couple 30 seconds again but I want you to be efficient. You need to be able to get on and off the tool, treadmill, bike, elliptical, erg, if you're gonna do cardio tools. So I know you don't like the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, however, they are your quicker movements. Circuit one is gonna be either jump squats, the impact exercise, or you can do the pulsating squats. So clearly 50 of those, give or take a minute, right? Your 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, jump squats or pulsating squats, and then you're gonna do a push. Either do a push up, chest press, shoulder press, triceps, and those are always gonna be 20. So this is actually kind of a mean circuit. You're gonna do 150 plyometric based exercises and you're 100 pushing, whether it's chest, shoulders, or triceps. Are right, you ready? Go at your own pace and tempo. Ready, go. You got 50 either jump squats or pulsating squats. Right, jump squats is your plyometric load. You're creating power, you've got impact. Pulsating squats, you still have load, you're not creating power, and of course then you don't have impact. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 on your loaded plyometric exercise. And then it's always 20 on your push. Either chest press, shoulder press, tricep extensions, so it's mean, it's a 250 rep circuit. And again, if you have cardio tools and you have the ability to be efficient getting on and off your tool, I would say minute, minute, 30, 30, 30, if you have that in you. Again, trying to be a little ahead of you so you see it. You got push-ups, you got triceps, you got shoulders. I want pace to be as high as you can handle. Tempo can be controlled but moderate high, you adjust your push based on your success and your burn, but don't wait for me. I do like that word efficiency when it comes to these types of workouts. You can have major volume, major intensity. You can flat out get after it. Don't lose motion, okay? I don't want, I don't worry about weight today. I want you to get after it. If you can maintain load, awesome but don't lose motion. Again, round one was 50 on your plyometric, jump squats or pulsating squats. The next circuit will go back up with alternating movements, you'll see that. So 
Let's get to work. Round 240. If you're a little bit ahead of me, awesome. That comes from your pace, your intensity. It does not come from moving too fast. I don't mind tempo today. Again, pulsating squats are great. You have the load, you don't have the impact. Jump squats are great. You've got a lot of load, a lot of power needs to be created. It'll yield impact. But again, up, 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 up. We rarely do these. And we gave it at the gym the last two weeks. So don't think it's just because I'm on a beach today. At the gym, we had this workout happening the last two weeks. Again, always 20 on the push. Chest, you can do push-ups, you can go on the ground, you can do incline, you can do decline, you can do TRX, you can lay on something for your chest press. Remember, I'm not gonna do all of them with you, even though I probably should today. That pool and margarita, chips, salsa, guacamole will probably be for breakfast in about an hour. <laughs> all right, go get it. Come on, turn that dial up. Don't wait for me, and don't feel like you're falling behind either. You'll have plenty of time to quote unquote, get caught up and stay with the whole class. You've done 50, you've done 40, your 30 is round three. Again, if you're not there, that's okay. If you are there, cool. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, non-alternating plyometric load-based exercises. Create power. There's a level of intensity. There's a little bit of little bit of focus. There's a lot of bit of focus. There's some work. There's some excitement. Whew. I'm gonna wear out this spot. Just go get it, baby. Again, 20 on your push. If you have other tools, chest presses, shoulder presses, triceps, you got your dips, you got your kickbacks, overheads. So the nice thing about this circuit, <clears throat> pushing is always quicker than pulling. Pushing still has a lengthening component. It's just not as long of a lengthening component as a pulling exercise is. But all movements for the most part have a lengthening component and of course a shortening component, unless you're doing an isometric exercise. Again, work, don't wait for me. If you get really far ahead, if you get magically done way before a whole pe all of the group gets done, then you get to stretch for a second, rest for a second, or you can do a little more work. 50 done, 40 done, 30 is probably done. Your 20s on your pushes, minimal adjustments for efficiency, but there will be adjustments. 20. Round four on your jump squat or pulsating squat. Always 20 on your push. <clears throat> oh, I like it. I like it. Come on. Come on. It's working. We rarely do these types of workouts, but you know we do them. Pace, very high. Tempo is gonna be controlled, but a little high, moderate high, controlled high. Never lose motion. You can always adjust your load so you can hit your reps, maintain your motion, get after it. Round five when you get there. 10 on your jump squat or pulsating squat. And your last 20 push this week you won't do any more pushing this week <laughs> on your upper body turn it up baby turn it up don't wait for me don't be discouraged by where you're at if you do get done, stretch for a second. It's never gonna hurt you. You can keep moving if you wanna keep moving. 
but I'm gonna give everybody about 30 seconds to finish up. When you do get done, you're gonna be doing 50 upper body motion abs. And here in a second, don't start just yet. And the up body means your lower body is not moving. Sit-ups, you've got many different body positions and leg positions. You got toe touches. You can lay on the ground, ball, bench. If you're at the gym or have a tool, something above you for your jackknifes, that is a great option if you have the tool. When you're ready, you've got 50 upper body motion abs, which means your lower body is not moving. I will not talk as much so you can look at the view now that I'm not on your screen. You still need to do your abs. You came here for a reason. As you're doing sit-ups, if you're doing them, you're laying on the ground or ball or bench. Legs straight, knees bent. One leg straight, one leg bent. Feet wide, feet narrow. Toe touches, both legs up. You can have one leg up, but don't do scissors. You're doing up body motion abs. your mouth your body will actively recover as long as you put more air back in your body breathe in your nose and out your mouth Kind of like the pushing exercises, they're naturally a little quicker. So upper body motion abs naturally are a little bit smaller of a motion. There's a less lengthening component. There still is a lengthening component, it's just not as big. Woo! Getting warm over here. Shall we partake in more? Circuit two, you either have split jumps, and again, if you're not there, yeah, that's okay. Split jumps is the plyometric. Skater hops, right, is the plyometric. You can also do stationary lunges, forward, reverse, or lateral if you don't want to do the plyometric. The, the, we're gonna go up in reps, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We're gonna go up in reps. You're pulling, you've got chest flies, lat pullovers, trap rows, bicep curls, upright rows, deltoid raises. There's a lot of options. Don't think too much. Pick one or two now. Don't get too sassy on creativity. I like creativity, but if you think, you slow down. We're gonna go up on the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. When you're ready, let's go. Remember plyometrics or your concentric exercises of your lunges alternating movements and you're gonna count each movement. So the 10 doesn't take very long. One, two, three, four, five, 10. And then you have pulling. Well, I don't have really anything to pull with. You could do light deltoid raises. You've got front, you've got lateral, you've got rear. And mom, those are triceps, but you can keep doing triceps if you want to. <laughs> That's a pushing exercise, but if you want it, awesome. You're gonna work your arms. Moral of the story, everybody is working, it's always 20. You got chest flies, you have to lay on something. You've got lat pullovers, you have to lay on something. Bicep curls, sitting tall, standing tall. Shoulder raises, sitting tall, standing tall. Upright rows for shoulders, bent rows for back. There's a lot. When you're ready, round one was 10 on your plyometric and 20 on your pulling. Round two, 20 on your plyometric. So we kickstart the low to high on the plyometric. And it's two reasons. One, to mix up the brain cells going up. And two, pulling exercises. We wanna hit them quicker, early and often, so we use them more and then as the reps climb, 
you can maintain load and motion better. Whereas pushing, we started high so we can really crush the burn. It's, you know, twofold, right? Round two, 20 plyometric. You got your pulling chest flies. You lay on something, lat pullovers. You lay on something, bent rows. Again, that's a good one too. I don't have any weights, but I can activate those shoulder blades. I can activate those muscles around my shoulder blades and I can use my traps. Again, I know it's not a loaded physical weight exercise, but it can be a loaded time under tension exercise. And you guys have heard that phrase. This is our 140 second recorded workout. You've had so many other ones that you've repeated on my off days. You had Danny and John to start off with last April and May. So you've had, pat yourself on the back. Let's just say round up. You've probably had 200 workouts at home in the last 10 full months, right? Almost 11. Round two, 20 on your alternating plyometric. Again, split jumps loaded hopping and I tell people to put the weight not here in their knee put it in your thighs but if you think about the weight in your hamstrings and glutes it takes a lot of pressure off of your knees and ankles same with that lateral skater hop put the weight in your butt and your hips and your core and then it takes the pressure off of your knees and your ankles again those are the impact plyometric based exercises but if you need to right I don't mind zesty stationary lunges. I said zesty, that's that controlled high tempo, right? The actual movement, the pace of this workout is already high. Round three when you get there, 30 on your plyometric, 20 on the pulling. The circuit will start to settle in. like it work 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 but remember pulling exercises naturally have a longer lengthening component so naturally they're just gonna be a little bit slower and for the most part if you go too quick you will hurt yourself so you got to control the tempo a little bit more on your pulling exercises always 20 on the pulling chest so you could have done a lot of chest today back can only pull so you can beat up your lats and your traps right now biceps can only pull shoulders can push and pull too you could have done a ton of shoulder presses and you could be doing a ton of shoulder raises here's where the circuit starts to increase i am looking for that harder more intense work I'm looking for your core, your legs, your glutes, your heart rate is going to increase. Round four, when you get there, you've got your 20 on your, sorry, about 20. You got your 40 on your plyometric. Always 20 on your pulling up body exercise. Split jumps, skater hops. Those are your all training lateral plyometrics. Yeah, there's other ones too. Lateral bench hops could have been an option. But the third and final circuit, we'll do a different tool and we'll focus on our abs and obliques based on, we haven't done a lot. We did a little bit on Monday. You have the option of the second circuit of abs and obliques. Round four, 40 on your plyometric and or if you ever need to, right? Those zestier stationary lunges. Stationary reverse, stationary forward, stationary lateral. Sweat in my eyes, salty sweat in my eyes. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> a little work, come on, a little bit of work, let's go, let's go. If you have music at your house and you know what to do, you can mute me and turn it up. Get the dial up. Round four, 40 plyometric, always 20 pulling. Lots of different movements on your pulling. 
Even if you're at the gym, I need to be efficient, right? The cable flies are great, but you'd have that one little space for the plyometric and the cable flies. Dumbbell flies are a little more versatile on where you can be. Lap pull downs, again, machines are great, but all about proximity, pace, doing it safely, setting your things up. Lap pullovers laying down slows you down. So I'm not trying to debunk all these things. I want them all to be good choices. But if you're thinking efficiency, when you do your smaller muscle groups like shoulders and biceps, might be a little more efficient. Poor guy, he tracked her the whole beach. It's all flat, except for this big hole I'm creating. <laughs> Round four, 40 plyometric, 20 on your pulling. When you get there, again, don't wait for me and don't be discouraged if you're not there. Round five is your 50 plyometric, five zero, 50. It's the last 50, right? We're gonna have a different number set on that third and final circuit. You have that 50 on the plyometric and your last 20, that is your last formal upper body today. We have the 100 pushing, the 100 pulling, the 300 total plyometrics and exertion. We're gonna be doing our hip motion abs soon and we'll finish off one more circuit with ab oblique choices with a little bit more movement. You work out with me? Well, you got your split jumps. Come here. Let me think I see you. You got your split jumps, right? You're in your lunge. Get that lunge position. Bigger. And then look at that way. And then hop. Nice. That's a split jump. And then the other one's skater hops. You do this and you hop laterally. They're doing 50 on the plyometric, 20 on your last pulling. Remember, if you're there, cool, stretch for a second. It's never gonna hurt you. If you're not there, don't be discouraged by not being there. But when you get done with your circuit, we're gonna do hip motion abs. Now, I don't mind scissors and runners and swimmers. However, reverse crunches, V-ups, and we rarely do hip lifts. That's where you keep your legs up and you just go up. So don't create momentum. Hip lifts is just the up, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna get sand all over my face, but reverse crunches, you've done a million times. V-ups, you've done a million times. Keeping your legs up, hip lifts, that's a good option. But if you really, 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 really wanna do scissors or runners, you can do scissors or runners. 50 on your hip motion abs and we have one more circuit again you can leave at any time nothing would ultimately imbalance you as long as you get your obliques done in there okay 50 hip motion abs your legs are moving because of your abs go get it Go get it. Now this one, we want to control the tempo more. Hip motion abs have a longer lengthening component, like you're pulling on your upper body and pulling on your lower body too, but pulling on your upper body today, the longer lengthening component, you have to focus on it more. And if you don't focus on it more, hip motion abs will yield your back and you don't want your back. It's the first easiest thing to spot when somebody's like, oh, I'm getting my back on these. Slow it down. Focus on your abs, tight, back, flat. You might need your hands under your buns to help out with that. And then focus and slow it down. Subtle changes with your legs will help too. Crossing your legs can help a little bit. A slight knee bend can help a little bit. Just don't bend and straighten your legs. That would be a quad exercise in the attempt of a hip motion ab all I ask bring the tempo down a little bit and do your 50 five zero hip motion abs Monday you have the options of a little bit of abs you have the middle the extra credit end Wednesday you had again you had the loop in the middle of abs obliques with an optional X credit in. So again, not very many abs. Even last week, we didn't do that many abs because it was a big core week. 
We had the core and more. Monday, Wednesday, you also had another core and more. Say, baby. You saw her. We're, we're almost done, baby. Remember I told you you got to stay down here the whole time? Yeah. We're almost done. Keep your focus. We're not done yet. If you ever need to leave, just say goodbye. Have a good day. But I want to make sure everybody finishes off their hip motion abs. Big, deep breath. It's going to kind of sound like Wednesday's ab oblique. And that's because you may or may not have done them. And I was ultimately wanting four loops between Wednesday and today, yielding... 400 abs and obliques that was between wednesday and today so the rhythm and we've actually done this before you're going to have your right oblique then you'll do an exercise then you're going to have your left oblique then you're going to do an exercise then you're going to have your uh, ab and it could be the scissors runner swimmers and i want to get a couple rounds in okay your exercise you've got bench taps or ball taps you've got your lateral bench hops you could do your butt kicks your high knees your jumping jacks they're all going to be 20. However, the rhythm is right oblique for 25, do your ab, sorry, do your exercise, left oblique 25, do your exercise, then you got your ab, do your exercise, and you would have five total exercises, and if you do two loops, it's two sets of right obliques, two sets of left obliques, and two sets of abs, and there's my loops that I wanted. Rhythm. 25 right obliques. If you're standing, the weight is in your left hand. If you're laying down, you got your right side up double lateral leg lifts or right side down hip dips or lay on your back, knees to your left, right side crunch. At the gym, you have your rotational oblique options. You have a hyperextension machine. And yes, there are stability ball hyperextensions as well. Harder position, different tool. 25 right obliques and then 20 on your exercise you've got butt kicks running revolutions walking reps high knees running revolutions walking reps you got your jumping jacks you've got your bench taps you got your ball taps you've got lateral bench hops for the most part if it's quick simple it's revolutions if it's a little bigger slower harder it's going to be reps that rule has applied for many, 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 many years. Round one, 25 right obliques, 20 on your exercise. Round two, 25 left obliques, 20 on your exercise. Round three, 25, again, more abs. I know we've already done some. Scissors, runners, swimmers. You've got windshield wipers. You can do toe touches and sit-ups, reverse crunches. You can do anything for your abs. Laying on a ball, sitting on a bench V-ups, laying on a bench toe touches different positions 25 right oblique 20 exercise 25 left oblique 20 on your exercise you're thinking agility when it comes to butt kicks high knees jumping jacks bench or ball taps a little more plyometric based when you do your lateral bench hops but you're thinking something short sweet revolutions for the most part your 25 right oblique round one, 25 left oblique round two, 25 ab any. Then you have your right oblique again if you're gonna keep going, your left oblique again if you're gonna keep going, and then your ab at the end of it. Five sets of your 20 agilities is your 100 total agilities. And that would be 400 total exertions today between the three circuits. 100 pushing, 100 pulling, Got your 150 abs, your 100 obliques. <laughs> you got the warm up, right? The 120 reps on our warm up. Moral of the story is you guys always work hard. Again, right oblique 25, 20 exertion. Left oblique 25, 20 exertion. 25 abs, 20 exertion. Abs can be any. Sit ups, toe touches, reverse crunches, V ups, scissors, runners, swimmers, windshield wipers, Russian twists. Notice I am saying abs, but you do have the abs core in there. Focus, focus. High knees, agility, running revolutions, walking reps, butt kicks, running revolutions, walking reps, jumping jacks. You know what? There are pretty much reps, but if they're little, Maybe make it revolutions, right? Do a couple of them, right? Do 40 total movements. If they're big, 
There's your slow rep. Taps, bench taps, ball taps. Again, quick, simple, effective revolutions. Work, work, work. Finish this circuit. Today's a great day when you get done. If you have that couple minutes, stretch. Higher intense workouts like this, they're supposed to be a little bit shorter, but it also allows you time to do other things. Foam rolling, stretching. If you have five or if you have five or ten minutes to do cardio, do cardio. Laying there, there, relaxing, chilling, getting mindful, a great idea. Don't go shoveling snow. I don't think there's any snow to shovel yet, or not that much, based on where you are. Again, your final part, your final circuit. Two total sets of right obliques, two total sets of left obliques, two sets of the abs, and you've got your five sets of 20 exertions. Make sure you take time to stretch when you get done, if you have that time and ability. Remember, everybody has different pace on these workouts. The intent was being really high tempo. Again, tempo is meant to be a little high, but jump squats and pulsating squats are a little different. Split jumps and skater hops versus stationary lunges are a little bit different. Your up body movements, whether you're doing push-ups or chest presses or triceps, different positions, different load potential, different burn. So everybody's going to be in a different spot. Again, just so you hear it one last time, the rhythm was right oblique goes to your 20 exertion. Left oblique, 20 exertion. Ab, 20 exertion. Right oblique again, left oblique again, abs again, five total sets of exertions. Again, when you get done, if you have time, stretch for a second. You should have a couple minutes, right? We've had some really, really long workouts lately, so spend time foam rolling and stretching. But when you get done, say goodbye, have a great day. Take a screenshot, that way you can look what I'm doing all weekend long. Well, not this exact spot, 